Hello, how are you? Chef Garen here from Eastern Passage, Nova Scotia. I went to see the fish lady today in Coal Harbor and she had some product from Newfoundland. Here we have beautiful Atlantic cod fillets. Beautiful fish, very big thick fillet there. Also I'm going to experiment with some ocean perch. Very big fillet as you can see. I'm going to deep fry that as well. Um, next video I may be doing the same stuff pan fried. Okay, I do have other videos with pan fried fish and deep fried fish as well. This batter is kind of unique. I'm going to be using a beer batter and I'm adding some vodka to it. Okay, so the vodka, vodka what happens with the vodka is that the it just it evaporates really fast when the fish starts to fry and it gives us a lot more nice crispy bubbles in that batter. So we're going to experiment with that today. So here we go. I'm going to cut myself one piece of this beautiful cod here. I don't want to go too, too big, but, you know, a decent sized piece of fish, okay? And also this here uh, perch, ocean perch, probably around the same size. So we got these two pieces ready to go. Okay, now let's work on the batter. So I'm going to be using a self-rising batter. You can purchase it or you can make your own. So I did half a batch. So one batch is one cup of all-purpose flour one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt, okay? And just put them in a bowl and mix it up. I'm only cooking a couple pieces of fish, so I just made half of a batch of my all uh, of the self-rising flour. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the vodka in first, and that is two tablespoons. And I'm gonna be, you wanna use a lager beer, I'm gonna use this uh, Michelob Ultra. It's very fizzy, which is what we want. We want those nice light bubbles, okay? On the stove here, I have my very thick pot. It's actually a big wok, but it's very thick, which is important. Some canola oil or any neutral oil that you prefer to use for deep frying. And a thermometer, very important digital thermometer. Any type of thermometer digital will work. We want to get this to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. This oil has to be 360 Fahrenheit before we put anything in it, okay? Very important. I also have a little bit of flour here, nothing else in it, just some flour to dust the fish before I put it in our batter mix. Okay, oil is almost up to temperature. I'm going to start with the vodka here. That's two tablespoons and I'm gonna use my lager. I'm just gonna use an ultra light because all I had on hand. Now we're not gonna go too crazy here. We're gonna put a little bit in. We're gonna mix this around. See those, see the foam? See that bubble action there? That is terrific. A Little bit at a time. We don't wanna overdo this. But I'm looking for a thin, non-goopy consistency. So we have to play around here. Make sure you get all that flour around the sides. Let's get this mixed in. It is looking good. That's looking great. I like that. Excellent. So I'm just going to give that a moment just to hang out. I am going to keep it on ice because I do want, like to keep this chilled, this particular vodka and beer batter chilled while I'm working on my fish. Get that close to our oil, of course. Now let's get our fish here. And I'm just going to, we're just going to lightly pass it or dredge it in this all-purpose flour. Just give it a tap, flip it over. The reason I'm doing this is because when you're working with a thin batter, it likes to grab on to something and just the bare fish itself doesn't really grab that well. So a little bit of this flour will allow the batter to cling to the fish much more efficiently. Okay, and give us the result that we desire. So let's go over here. And see where we're at with the oil. I'm going to bring you up nice and close right here. Actually, I'll come back here a bit so you can see what I'm doing with the fish. Okay, so I'm going to put my probe in here. I'm looking for 360. 365 as well is okay. You don't want to go any higher than that. So here we are. We're at about 355. We are at 360. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start with the cod first because it's a little bit bigger, thicker piece. 
And we're just going to go in the batter here like so. See how nice, nicely that sticks? Doesn't run off. Very, very nice. So I'm going to let a little bit of that drip off. And I'm going to dip it in the oil here. Get you up nice and close. And, but I'm going to hang on to it until it, I'm just going to dip it in a little bit until it starts to bubble and float. Look at those bubbles, guys. So that's the vodka doing its thing as well as the self-rising flour. Now comes the ocean perch. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dip it in there. In the batter, let the excess dip off, or drip off, and just put the one piece in here, one side of this piece. Let it come, let it float. Then you can gently ease the rest of it into the hot oil. All right, excellent. Let's separate these guys. Now I'm just going to let them brown on one side a little bit, flip them over, let them brown, and then we're going to work on getting them nice and dark. Okay, just a little bit, under a minute here. So now I'm just going to flip these over, just gently. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. I think I'm going to really like this batter. I've never done vodka batter before, vodka and beer. So it's only been, been beer batters that I've done in the past. First time using the vodka trick. But this piece, look at the bubbles there. That is fantastic. This is going to be light and crispy. Super, super crunchy. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So you want to monitor your oil, the temperature of your oil. If it drops a little bit at the beginning, uh, when you put that cold fish in, uh, that's normal. You don't want it to go below 350, that's for sure. Okay, so keep an eye on it. Adjust your temperature on your burner. And just like I said, keep an eye on it using your thermometer, okay? we got some great color here now. I'm just going to let this go a little bit longer on each side. I'm telling you right now, this batter is brilliant. If you follow my steps, you will be so happy. It will be probably the best fish you've had, deep fried fish you've ever had. I'm really excited to try this. Okay. I'm happy with how crispy and the color of this is, so I turn the heat off. I'm just going to let the oil drain off here. Just let all that excess oil from the outside drip off. Look at this fish, guys. Wow. Okay. That's the cod, and here is our ocean perch. So if I'm being honest, I'm, I'm really excited about the perch because I've never had large pieces of ocean, ocean perch before. And apparently when, we, when you cook it, the flesh is supposed to be really, really white. Look at the crunch on this. Wow, I am so happy how that came out. I'm going to get this oil off the heat here. And let's uh, get you over to the counter and plate up. So one thing I forgot to mention is, while this is still, when it came out of the fryer, you want to get some salt on it, okay? So while that's still nice and crispy and hot, um, the salt will stick to it, okay? Okay, let's get into the cod first. And I'm just going to, maybe this end here will be better. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Very, very hot, but I love codfish. One of my favorite, especially the Newfoundland cod. Oh man, look at that. Super hot. Oh, hot, hot. All right. Mm. Wow. And not greasy at all. Not one bit. Uh, very, very impressed. And very light. Very light, crispy batter. So let's dig into this piece of ocean perch. Wow. Okay. Let's get a close up here, guys. Look at that. Very nice white flaky fish. Now for the flavor, it does remind me uh, very much like um, haddock. Oh, wow. That is very light, very light flavored fish, very delicate. 
Not overcooked because we did a single fry, not a double fry like most restaurants do. Man, that is excellent. Six fifty a pound versus the cod, which was <clears throat> uh, almost eleven dollars a pound. Well, ten fifty, I think. Right. So, anyway, there's some options for you guys. Give this vodka and beer batter a shot. You will be impressed.